Hey everyone and welcome to today's video and in this video I will they'll be talking to you about my hair I'm gonna take you through the different products that I use in my hair care routine And I will also be telling you something about my hair so that you know what it is that I have to work with um, It's going to be a short chatty video. So um, yeah, let's just uh, get to the my hair care routine so before I start telling you about all of the different products that I use on my hair, I should address the situation that we're working with. Um, I wash my hair probably two to three times a week, not too often, because my hair is pretty dry. And if I wash it too often, it just becomes one big frizzy mess. Um, so the hair that you see is all my own. I don't use any curling wands, I don't use straighteners, I don't even blow dry it. This is all mine. There's a lot of it, it is thick, and all of the waves and potentially curls, uh, because right here in the back, it is actually quite curly. Uh, it really depends on how my hair dries up, whether you see it or not. It's pretty heavy, so when it weighs down, the waves and everything just kind of like <sniffs> falls down and I have little to no volume, naturally. So when it comes to my hair, there are a few things that I really need, uh, which is moisture because my hair is really dry and since this is also my natural hair color, um, my hair, if it gets really dry, it just looks like an exploded poodle on my head. So what I want is moisture, I want my blonde hair to be as nicely blonde as it could possibly, uh, as it could possibly be, and I want my waves to stay intact as much as possible without weighing it down too much. Without further ado, let me take you through all the different steps I take to maintain my hair. This is pretty much the most fuss-free haircut on YouTube. No kidding. Um, I start by brushing my hair. I only ever brush my hair just before I wash it. I don't brush it in between because I find that brushing it really just detangles all the waves as well and makes my hair a lot straighter and I don't want that. Then when I'm in the shower I use a shampoo and a conditioner. I'm currently using one of my favorites. This is the Gliscour Old Nutriv line. It has a lot of natural oils that are that is that are infused in the shampoo, but it does still really clean your hair very nicely without that like squeaky clean feel, which I don't like. Once I step out of the shower, all I do is just towel dry my hair really quickly. I just like wrap it into a towel and let it dry. Um, but what I do do is uh, use some leave-in conditioner because if I don't do that, my hair gets really frizzy and dry again. So from the same line as the shampoo and the conditioner, I use the Oil Nutrif, um, like an anti-naughty uh, spray. And I just kind of spray this all over my hair and just kind of like knead it through my hair and that's all I do with that. And then just for the ends, because those get really dry and um, just fluffy looking after a bit, I use the Dream Hair Light Oil. Again, it looks similar to the rest of the line that I just showed you. And uh, this is really nourishing for just the ends. So after I put in my leave-in conditioner, it's time to style my hair and I use two products for that. The first one is the Bumble and Bumble don't blow it air styler for great hair days without the heat or the hassle. I do find you only need a very small amount of this, like a pea side amount, maybe like a, just like a small coin size. That's all I use and I just put it all over my hair and I find that when I put this in, my waves are locked in a lot better and it stays wavy a lot nicer. In order to get a little bit of volume and lift started, because my hair is naturally very limp, um, I actually put in a sea salt spray and this is the one by Tony and Guy. I use this quite liberally, I just spray it all over my hair, I just lift up all those layers and spray it wherever I can and then uh, once that is in, all I do is go to bed and let it air dry. What I do when I wake up in the morning, because my hair does need a little bit of help to try and stay in place, I use this and this is a texturizing spray by L'Oreal Studio line and this is the Volume Max Volume Spray and it's just a spray, I just shake it up and then I just spray it, I can show you this actually because my hair can use a little bit more, I just spray it in and spray it all around and it's like pliable as well and it just adds texture and hold all at the same time without that like very sticky hairspray feel. There are three products that I only use occasionally that I do want to show you because it is how I maintain my hair. 
Um, I don't use dry shampoo to create the texture in my hair because I find that dry shampoo is too drying for my hair. If I use this every single day, my hair becomes a frizzy mess again. So I like the other spray better because it's more of like, a, it's like a, almost a hybrid between a dry shampoo and a regular hairspray, I find. Um, so I only use this in emergency cases when my roots need a little bit more help, when um, I'm, my hair gets a little bit greasy and when I want to stretch the moment that I wash my hair for like another day. And then the other two occasional hair products that I use are the two products that I use to maintain my hair color. So I get roots from my own hair color. Um, and in order to maintain the roots and to make sure that it stays blonde a bit more evenly, I use the John Frieda Go Blonder Hair uh, Control Lightning Spray. I find that if I use this once a week, maybe once every two weeks, my hair color stays a lot nicer and I don't end up with like roots to here. It keeps my hair nice and light and since this spray does have a tendency to make your hair look a little bit yellow, um, I uh, started using this silver uh, shampoo, a damn nice hair silver shampoo which I bought for my hairdresser and I wash my hair once a week with this shampoo. That makes my hair look a little bit brassier and not as yellowy as it turns with this or through the sun even. Um, so this maintains the color a lot better. Okay, so I really hope you like this hairy chat <laughs> that I just did. And um, I like my hair and that's why I thought I would tell you about what I do to uh, maintain my hair and how to take care of it. And I really hope I gave you some useful tips, who knows? Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, that's it for me for today. I hope you really enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.